Riley issues an executive order. Many immigrant families are still living in fear of being approached by federal agents. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with one clinic that says many are afraid to come in to be treated. The executive order certainly didn't hurt, and I think it sends a message about how Nashville wants to be and aspires to be a welcoming and inclusive city. Since Mayor David Briley signed the Sanctuary City Executive Order last week, the reviews have been mixed. Some in favor, others flat out opposed. But there's one thing for sure that civil rights groups like Turk are telling us. And this is where we prepare our community to have an emergency plan. This summer, Nashville has seen two instances where immigration and custom agents attempted to arrest two men the agency says were here illegally. Those actions inspiring Mayor Briley to sign an executive order making Nashville a sanctuary city despite it being illegal in the state. But the reality is the executive order has limited effect. Brian Hill is the executive officer of Neighborhood Health where they serve about 30,000 patients. A majority of them, Hill says, he believes are undocumented. He says because of the recent ICE cases, He's seen more immigrant patients simply afraid to come to the doctor. Families are, are traveling together and don't want to be separated. Um, I think this is the, the, I'm really struck when I'm in the waiting room about how many fathers are sitting waiting while their children are having physicals. They're also extending hours on weekends for those too scared of getting stopped by federal agents on the roads. Hill says with the executive order or without it, his patients may still live in fear. It's an important statement and it's a, it really lays out what we want to be as a city, but immigrants know that that's not entirely within the span of control of city officials. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Mayor-elect John Cooper weighed in this morning on the topic of the executive order, calling it a campaign press release and not really an executive order. So tonight on Inside Politics, we're going to hear why the mayor-elect says he will need to review the legality of that order before making a decision on its status as mayor.